the story of a six-year-old boy who is allergic to nearly all foods. It's a rare medical condition. At first, he could eat only one food, but he is making progress. And ABC's Lindsay Janice has more on the incredible struggle for this brave boy and his parents. A lot of kids are picky eaters, but Tyler Chavato has a great excuse for only eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. The six-year-old is allergic to almost everything else, including chicken, turkey, rice, sweet potatoes, and bananas. As an infant, he was even allergic to his mother's breast milk. In fact, for the first four years of his life, he could only have baby formula. So when did you first realize that something was wrong? The main problem happens when we started introducing the baby foods, the cereals, vegetables, fruits, all of those things. And what kind of reaction did he have? He was vomiting um, sometimes 15, 20 times. He would lay there. He was lethargic. I would hold him in my arms, and I just didn't know what to do. After a series of agonizing emergency room visits and medical tests, doctors still couldn't pinpoint the illness. All of the standard allergy tests came back negative. Finally, at 16 months old, Tyler was referred to Dr. Anna Nowak, a pediatric allergy specialist. She knew almost immediately that it was the FPIs, it was food protein-induced enterocolitis. It causes horrible vomiting, it causes uh, uh, low blood pressure, it can cause diarrhea. If Tyler ingests a food he's allergic to, his body can't break down certain proteins, causing him to reject it. It must just be heartbreaking as a parent to watch that. There's no words to describe when you see your child so sick like that. Dr. Nowak suggested that Travados participate in hospitalized food challenge testing to determine what he could eat. He tried five different foods, one food a day. He has to actually ingest the food to see if he reacts to it. The first grader made some serious headway over the years. Today, he can eat apples, macaroni and cheese, and pizza. We're just going to have a little chat, you and me. <laughs> Tell me a story about some time maybe when there was some food served at class and maybe you couldn't have it. They had um, chicken there. All the kids were eating it, and I wasn't. How was your day at school? Luckily, the prognosis for FPIs is positive. This food allergy goes away with age. As far as we can tell, there's no long-term consequences. So it is hard at the beginning, but you can get your child safe and healthy. With his food allergy under control, now Tyler can focus on the important things in life, like scoring home runs at his Little League games. For Good Morning America, Lindsay Janice, ABC News, New York.